We're working the latest developments on a crime spree targeting food delivery people. As we've been reporting, police say they had five delivery drivers robbed this month. Now they're warning all restaurants that offer delivery to take some extra precautions. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Sherrod joins us now with the details from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom in Pawtucket. Pawtucket police say three pizza delivery workers were robbed over a four day period and as a result they're issuing a warning to store owners and food delivery workers. Wagi McKeel and his wife Jacqueline have owned Pizza Works in Pawtucket for 20 years and have never had problems. So when they learned about a police investigation into pizza delivery robberies, they naturally became concerned and speculated about a motive. There's no jobs around. Nobody have a war. Uh, you know, desperate drugs. McKeel says police warned him and all pizza shop owners of five separate robberies of food delivery workers in November, including the most recent one Wednesday night at Bill's Pizza on Larch Street. Police say a Bill's delivery worker was robbed at gunpoint and knife point by four men who took money and a cell phone. The Pizza Works delivery man we spoke to was so rattled by the news he didn't want to talk on camera. To help safeguard food delivery employees, police offer the following advice. Always obtain a callback number for delivery to confirm a legitimate order is taking place. Scan the delivery area for suspicious persons. Be aware of anyone following the delivery vehicle and do not carry large amounts of cash. McKeel says delivery is 20% of his business and drivers don't go further than a one mile radius. He says they're always cautious about delivery calls and says topper signs, which he doesn't use, can attract the wrong people. The car topper is a bad idea because it's, it's my I get you more business, but you put your driver life and it's threatened for his, his life. Makes them a target for yeah. people. Police say they are now searching for the armed suspects, anywhere between two and four males involved in these five robberies. They say the suspects were wearing either masks or hoodies to obscure their faces. Now, anyone with information is asked to call Pawtucket Police. They say all of these robberies occurred after dark. Reporting in Pawtucket with the Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.